and welcome to my channel. My name is AJ and today I'm going to be reviewing the collaborated book between James Patterson and David Ellis called Murder House. This is going to be my first review for both authors. So let's roll into this review. So what attracted me to this book was a book trailer from James Patterson's Facebook page. It had the keynotes of he sees a house, uh, there's dead bodies, he has a hot cop, female cop, and a killer on the loose who dresses like a woman that she's trying to capture and stop from killing much people in the Hamptons. And so I'm thinking, hey, this sounds interesting. I'll put it on my Amazon wish list where I store all the books that I really want to read until I get around to buying them. And so I go and I find this book at Mr. K's, which I will link their website down below, which is a local store where I'm at and um, I pick up the book and I start reading it and the book is somewhat like it says on the back of the book it is talking about a house that has a history of murder and it is put on the radar of Detective Jenna Murphy when she returns back to the Hamptons from living in Manhattan and she has to rush to stop the killer who's recently killed and also to find out about the other cases that link, about, link back to the house and to the killer. So that's the summary of the book. So I'm reading, getting, I'm halfway through this book and I'm thinking maybe this, maybe this isn't the trailer that I, I, I may have messed up. So I try to find the original trailer. I don't find it. What I do find is on James Patterson's YouTube page, which I will link down below. Is It's a trailer that says, so with the keynotes, he sees a house, he sees dead bodies, he sees a hot sexy cop that's 30, which isn't too far from which actually is in the book. She's like, I think she's like 26, 22 in the book. And she's in that range. <laughs> and she is a former kickboxer, amateur. That's not in the book. So that's not what her history is. And then um, where she has five suspects, that's not accurate. In the book, there's three. And she's having sex with two of the uh, characters that she has for suspects. That's not accurate. In the book, the only sex that happens is kind of like off screen, off book moment. And that's with her boyfriend in the beginning of the book, like in the first five chapters. And he dumps her because she takes the case instead of going with him on a date. So. Uh, I was like, that trailer is very confusing. And I also, in my rating for the book, I kind of lowered it. It put a ding in there because um, if I was, if I hadn't watched the first trailer, that second trailer would have completely misled me about this book as I was reading it, which it did, which it would have. And the original trailer still does. So that's also why I dinged it. And then um, for the book cover, uh, there was a ding there that lowered the rating from a from like a 4.5 to four to four out of five was the book cover. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, there's nothing wrong with that because there's a house by the sea, which is kind of like the which is the Hamptons. Yeah, but you see the house right here. That's not the house that they describe on the back of the book. That's not the house they describe in the book. On the back of the book, it talks about a beautiful Gothic exterior. I'm sorry, but that does not look gothic to me as a lover of the gothic genre, gothic romance genre, and not only movies, but also in books. That's just not, that's, that's not what it looks like. It looks like a normal, normal day uh, Hamptons house. And in the book, it describes it as being gothic and having a Jacobean uh, decorations inside. And um, that's just not, that's not what that house looks like. So to me that's kind of deceiving on the front. Um, I do understand that there are books that the front of the book has no meaning to them. Like if you read Breaking Dawn by Twilight, not by Twilight, Breaking Dawn from the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer, it has a chess piece on the front, which doesn't correlate personally to me to the story, but anyways I digress from that. Now those are the only two things that were cons for me. I really, um, that deemed the rating of of this book for me. Now, the main character, Detective Gina Murphy, she was a perfect lawful good that you want to see from a cop that has uh, drinking issues, usually what you see in the trope of a cop that's angsty. And I really liked her. I was completely surprised by the killer in the end, which I love. Um, the only sort of problem that I had was with the plot flow. And the book read like a movie in your mind, but um, the flashbacks were inserted 
and they weren't they weren't tied to a specific character which of course I believe that was because they didn't want to reveal who the actual killer was which in my opinion they could have still attached them to a character when a character was reminiscing or anything not anything but was reminiscing because they the killer is out of nowhere at the end so um, yeah if they were they were just inserted and it was kind of difficult but then again it still it still worked it wasn't a hard uh, it wasn't a hard book to read um, but I felt that it would have flowed better if it had been attached to a character because you would have uh, a scene with detective Jenna Murphy and then it would just it would cue with a flashback that that is dated which is very nice um, but it when it came when the flashback ended it would be a completely different scene with a completely different character so it was just it was it wasn't very flowing in that sense but other than that it was very good I liked the book I liked the characters I feel like the I would still recommend this book even though it is four out of five stars for me and I would definitely read another detective Jenna book and I would read a collab book between the two authors. I do though want to get just a plain James Patterson book and then just a David Ellis book to see if I'll continue to read both authors uh, separately. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video and down below I have linked the authors to their websites and the YouTube video. And till, till next time, bye!